Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech and Art. So guys, today I'm going to discuss about one of the critical situation, a uh, deadlock in a SQL server. So in this session, I'm going to details about the deadlock. So please be with me and watch the complete video. And whoever new on my channel, please like to subscribe. And I, as I told you, I have already created the SQL server playlist. There are on more than 120 videos which is all related to day-to-day -day SQL DB activities which can help you a lot. If you are getting help, please share with others as well. Okay, so let me create a documents. As you can see, hopefully you can see my screen. So I'm going to describe a bit about the deadlock. So deadlock occurs when the two process are competing for the exclusive access to a resource but it is unable to obtain the exclusive access to it because of the other processes preventing it. So don't confuse in this definition. I'm going to tell you the very easy method with the help of this diagram. So now the point is how do I know if a deadlock occurs. So whenever the deadlock occurs you will get this kind of messages in a red which is I have mentioned here. I have captured the message and I have pasted it here. So you can get it this kind of messages whenever the deadlock occurs. So now we'll try to understand based on the, this diagram how the deadlock is occurring. So let's assume here the process A which is accessing the resource X and here the process B which is accessing the resource Y. But at the same time process A trying to access on a Y and process B trying to access on a X. But they are not getting the resource X or Y because the process A already used by X and process B already used by Y. So it's a, by itself it's blocked because until unless process A will not release this X, process B cannot use. So here is the cyclic situation and that's causing the deadlock. Why? Process A is not going to release, process B also not going to release until unless they completed. So that's the reason by process A and process B by itself it's a, uh, creating a deadlock situation here okay so hopefully you got the point uh, how the deadlock is creation happening actually now the point is you know how SQL Server handles the deadlocks so you can read it this lines actually these from here to here you will understand the better things actually how, how it's happening the SQL Server internally itself is managing and, and releasing the deadlocks actually so there is a uh, process called the lock monitor. So lock monitor basically uh, doing the uh, monitoring things every five seconds and internally it's if he, they are getting the deadlocks and by that time only they are sending the error code with 1205 to the client boss the deadlock is occurred on this. So SQL server have it's a privilege to release the deadlock okay based on the priority okay. So you can go with this line you will understand the better now the point is how we can track the deadlocks so there are a couple of methods you can enable the trace one two zero four one triple two or you can use the profiler this is very beautiful you can enable you can use this profiler sql server tool itself and you will get the beautiful graph also which process is causing the you know a deadlock and you will uh, you will get the uh, the flow of diagram actually so beautiful graph profiler is giving so you can use the profiler based on that you can keep a track about the deadlock. Now the point is how to minimize. So these couple of four five points we can use it to minimize the deadlock. So always try to you know hold the locks of a short period as possible. Always access the resource in the same order. Ensure that you don't have to wait on a user input in the middle of the transaction first get all the you know information you need to and then submit the transaction try to limit lock escalation by using the hint such as a row, row lock etc so use the read committed snapshot this is also very important things read committed snap, snapshot isolation level i think uh, i will create a, one video about the isolation level also there are two isolation level a read committed and a read uncommitted Okay, so I will create a session about in details about the isolation level. Okay, so these are the four or five points which can you know avoid the deadlocks. So mostly, um, the as a deadlock prevention, uh, very careful the cyclic things 
to uh, to avoid to create a cycle how it's happening so you need to break the cycle so for that you need to utilize all those four five points whatever i explained so that very helpful to avoid the deadlocks so hope you got the points how the deadlock is occurring and what is the deadlock you know how to track the deadlock and how to avoid the deadlock situation in the next video i will create a live scenario and i will forcefully create a deadlock on a sql server management studio and i will enable the profiler as well and then we'll see how it's happening okay how we can capture the deadlock graph in a profiler okay till then bye bye thank you guys hope you guys are doing well thank you